Hi guys, this is JNM and in this tutorial I will show you how to use rigging and weight painting for creating skeletal animations for low poly models with Blender. We have a very special model here to be animated. It is an armchair that consists out of a main part and the backrest as separate objects. And I want to add two bones for animating this. The first one is a bone that only affects the backrest. I add this here. And I enable X-ray so that we can see it through the model. Now I align it to the backrest and scale it down. You see I enabled my screencast keys add-on so that you can see which keys I'm pressing. Now I switch to edit mode, align this first bone and then I press E to extrude out the root bone and the root bone will be used to transform the whole model. To make the second bone the root bone, I select the first one, then the root bone and press Ctrl P to make the root bone the parent of the bone for the backrest. And now when I switch to pose mode and move the root bone, the child will move as well. But I can select the bone for the backrest and rotate or move it separately. Okay, now let's select the armchair first, then the armature with the shift key pressed, then press Ctrl P and select with automatic weights. Now the armchair model is rigged, this means the parent is the armature and automatic weights for rigging are applied. But this leads to some problems, let me show this. For the root bone, the automatic weights algorithm works perfectly. But when I select and rotate the bone for the backrest, you can see that the other parts of the model are affected as well. And this is where weight painting comes into play to get rid of this. So let me hide all the objects that are blocking the view to the armchair. And then I select the main object and switch to weight painting. Okay, what can we see here? The blue parts are the ones that are not affected by the transformations of the selected bone. And the more red a model is, the more it is affected by the transformations of the bone. Now let's subtract the weight where we don't want it to be. I select a subtract brush with full strength, have my main object of the armchair and the backrest bone selected and paint the object completely blue. And when I rotate the child bone now, you can see that only the backrest is affected. And with this weight painting applied, I'm ready to define the animations for the model that I want to use in my game. To do this, I open a new window and select the dope sheet. But to create animations to be used in engines like Unity or Unreal Engine, I have to define actions. So I switch to the action editor. Then I create a new action by pressing the new button and give the action a name like move forward. Okay, after that I set the keying set to location and rotation and use automatic keyframe insertion. This means whenever I change the rotation or location of a bone, a new keyframe is added to the animation timeline at the current position of the timeline cursor. For this action I use the root bone to move the whole object and you can see that the new locations of the bone are stored in the dope sheet. Then I rotate the child bone to kind of roll back the backrest, which is also stored then in the timeline for the particular bone. And this is basically how I create my animations, my actions step by step. And this one is a bit more complex than I thought, it is more than just moving forward. So I will rename it to move forward and transform. You can rename actions anytime. Okay, that's it. The animation is completed. I set the frame length to 34 and we can play it in a loop. The last thing is to export the model as FBX to use it in a game engine. So select the armature of the model which is the root object, I renamed this to armchair 
and you do this by holding the control key pressed and then left clicking the icon of the object in the outliner. After that select file, export FBX and choose armature, mesh and selected objects. Then I select the directory to export to and rename the export file to armchair FBX. Then I press export FBX. And now you can import and use the FBX file in game engines like Unity or Unreal Engine. Ok guys, that's it for rigging and weight painting with Blender. I hope you liked the video and if you do, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to click this little bell icon as well to be notified when new tutorials are uploaded. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for your support and I hope you come back soon to JNM.